So um, uh, today is um, May 19. We are in Crookston. We just did a two level only for L3 slash 4 slash 5 for spondylolisthesis and stenosis. And I'm here with, uh, it's my honor to be here with uh, Dr. Colonel Ahmed Jahwari. And uh, we, these are the initial picture for orienting ourselves. You see here, there's a double shadow of the pedicle. The uh, spinal, the discs are not aligned. Here they're aligned in the four, five, but not in the five, three, four, meaning patient has a slow, small scoliosis. And here we see as well that scoliosis. So we are adjusting for the level of interest. We are going to start with the 3-4. So this is how we are going back and forth until we find a good 3-4 picture. And here again, the same way, we are finding the best picture, align it. Now we get the anatomical AP of the patient and mark it on the skin and then trajectory of the disc and mark it on the skin. And here, we on the lateral view, we get the um, practically the disc trajectory up and mark it on the skin from this here to the dome of the um, back of the patient. Then first thing we do, I uh, usually put a Jamshidi in and take five cc of bone marrow, not blood, and soak it with tricalcium phosphate uh, or soak tricalcium phosphate with it. And that gives a really good result for fusion. Our fusion rate has been 98.7, read by two independent radiology. Now here you see that the, the bone marrow has been removed. Now we approach the neuromonitoring probe at 45 degree with the sleeve and we dock it on the pedicle below. And then we drop it on the, practically on the disc base. You see here we, are, we have passed the midline I'm sorry, past the border of the bone. And and here we are practically, you see the deflection of the K wire here. That means we are in the exactly right place. Then we dilate, but before we dilate, we adjust the angle. So the angle is aligned. And then here is the distraction of the pedicle. And then we drill, use a drill to open a space, then a series of disc preparation devices and once we have packed the space with the bone marrow here is we retracted the K wire and then the cage is inserted and here again you see that this action really opens up the disc here and now I, in the same way, uh, because the, we have a good pedicle view, I just put the, some other pedicle screws while I'm waiting for my staff to do other thing on the back table. Then I approach the disc below. Here, that the disc below. Same way, I uh, stimulate at three milliamp, I'm good at four milliamp, I put the K wire in, and then I dial it. And here again, you see that opening of the foramen when the dilator goes in. Same disc preparation. And then cage goes in. Now this action again is what open up this space. The rest of it is putting just pedicle screws in the all levels. Once six pedicle screws are in, this is now the decorticator where we go in, center it on the actually it's eccentric, meaning once it's in, it's centered on the uh, facet. And practically we grind the surface of the facet and then pack it with tricalcium phosphate on both sides. Obviously you won't see that here anymore because the AP machine is at this time already removed. Now, once we have all that uh, tri uh, facet work done, so we have posterolateral instrumentation and fusion. And now we've put the screws in. And then pass two rods. We stimulate obviously the screws. They are good up 25. And then now, yeah. this is how we give the speed roll steroid injection. And these are the final pictures.